there was like a big just jolt and then it just started to slowly tip over. The crash and derailment tossed the Boy Scouts and other passengers around the tumbling Amtrak train. It was a lot of chaos, like right when it first fell over, like there's crying, screaming, a lot of confusion. 14 year old Dean Seaborn was trapped inside the train's restroom. Pipes are going loose, screws were like everywhere, water dropping. Um, everything was completely upside down. You were trapped inside there for how long? Half an hour, roughly. It's hard to keep track of time. Yeah, I was, I was freaking out. But the Appleton Scouts, returning from a wilderness scouting camp in New Mexico, quickly put their emergency and first aid training to work. I just thought it was really uh, awesome how fast we were able to help other people. For Elijah Awe, that meant caring for his injured father, who suffered cracked vertebrae and bruised ribs until paramedics arrived. My dad could like, he was like uh, having trouble breathing and his ribs were hurting. And right away, he just like, he knew that he broke something. How important a role did your training play in how you responded to this emergency? I'd say it was pretty vital. Um, getting people out, helping them, uh, remembering what we learned. The teens helped pull passengers from the train and provided first aid to the injured and are being praised for their actions. Do you consider these scouts to be heroes? Um, well, yeah. Anybody who they helped off the train or down the line or if they splinted their arm or whatever, they're, they're going to say that they were heroes. And you heard some of the people say that about those kids. In Milwaukee, I'm Ken Wayne Scott, WISN 12 News. Something they will never forget. And we mentioned the scouts had been at a wilderness scouting camp in New Mexico. Tonight, the man overseeing that camp says those scouts were the right group for the job.